okay if you missed it in class you got to do three out of these four problems if you need to see another example of how this works I gave an alternate strategy so you can look at the last video how to do this by drawing little rectangles uh, a lot of you are going to prefer this method because it gives you a formula I like the other method better but it makes more sense to me but this method uh, will give you a, a process so find your second difference we're, we're looking for we're looking for an equation that has this format some number times x squared plus some number times x plus some number okay the first piece of this that we we worked with is we found out that this letter C is the zeroth term of the sequence. So it's the number that comes before negative 17, which is my first term. And the way we can find the zeroth term is first find the distance from one number to the next find my second differences, which should be a constant on this topic, right? We're always adding three, and work backwards. So, I added, or my bad, subtracting three. I subtracted three from something to get my 12, so before the 12 is a 15. I added 15 to something to end up with this negative 17. So this, this initial term here has to be negative 32. The number that comes before negative 17 is negative 32. After that, the new thing we figured out is that this leading term is always half of the second differences. So in our case, our second difference is negative 3, half of that will be negative 1.5. So I can start my formula like this, negative 1.5, right, that's half of 3, x squared, plus, hold off on this for a minute, something times x, plus, negative 32, or I could say minus 32, either way. All right? This formula is going to build that sequence. The way to get this middle number is this is my first term, okay? This number, my first term minus these guys. So my first term, negative 17 minus negative 32 and also minus 1.5. So negative 17 minus negative 32 plus negative 1.5. Alright, this is 33.5 negative. I will get 16.5 when I do that subtraction. All right, you can use a calculator to, to do that. Just make sure, minus negatives, make sure you put all the symbols in that you're supposed to put in. Okay, 16.5 goes right here. If I'm not confident, not sure that it works, I can easily check this. When x is 2, my answer should be negative 5. So if I put a 2 in here, I get... 4 times negative 1 and a half is negative 6. If I put a 2 in here, I get 33. Minus 32, so we get negative 6 plus 1, which gives us negative 5. Alright, I could check any of my terms. I could check my fourth term. My fourth term, the answer is supposed to be 10. 
And I put x in there. We've got 4 times 4 is 16, negative 16, negative 24, plus 16.5 times 4 is 2 and 40 and 24, 64, 66, minus 32. All right, 66 minus 32, 34, plus negative 24, 10. All right, this builds that sequence. Now, I'm going to show that again, start to finish, without all the explanation, or with less explanation. So, I want to write a formula for this, plot my distances. Plus 10, plus 2, minus 6, minus 14. Second difference is R going down 8, down 8, down 8. My formula is going to start half of that times x squared plus something times x and then plus what number comes before 121 so before I can find that I need to find what number comes before 10 that would be 18 right 18 minus 8 is 10 10 minus 8 is 2 and so on some number plus 18 is 121. That number is 103. And when I have my first and my third coefficients, this center one is just going to be first number minus them. So, 99, 121 minus 99 is 22, plus 22x. Double check to make sure it works. Let me try with x is 2. That's negative 16. Plus 44. Plus 103. That's 100. 47 minus 16 is 131. Works with my second term. Try it with my third term if I need to. That would be negative 36 plus 22 times 3 is 66. So we've got negative, or we've got positive 30 plus 103, 133, this equation builds that formula. And then if I want to find any other element, like I want to find the eighth element or the 20th element, I just put 20 in for x, solve that.